Hello and welcome back to Expeditions, a mud run again, as we continue our little Colorado adventure. If we jump back in, you can see we've got two more expeditions to do. Uh, we're going to go out next for some heavy shipping. One of our forwarders is stuck in a swamp, so we'll have to deploy and evacuate the truck. This is a heavy truck, so you'll need a powerful vehicle to pull it out and take it to the outpost. So take this into account when planning to deploy so if we have a look at our rewards, repayment 500, payment uh, 1900, recover the truck less than two times, take less than 200 damage. So let's go for it. So we want trucks, some heavy off-roaders. So we're going to go with our, uh, our Step 310E SE. Well, that'll, be our, that'll be our primary, I think. It's a big truck. Now we're going to go in and check some customizations for as well. On the rear, rear mount of rack. Oh, we have a rack. This is where we can put some uh, some fuel in there. Front stock bumper. I think we'll go with the bull bar bumper. Searchlight. We'll go with the bull bar. And put searchlight. Oh, you put searchlight on as well. Lights are always good. On the roof, roof rack we can't do. We put a spotlight mount on. Miscellaneous. So we've got. I'm not sure about nerf bars if there's something we need. Side mounted rack. Again, we can put some more goods in there. I love this. I love this extra miscellaneous attachments for carrying stuff and and doing. I think that's great. Uh, we're going to do a low profile exhaust. Rims we're not worried about. Frame module. It didn't say we need a frame or to carry anything so that'll be it on there. I, oh actually we didn't look for upgrades did we? Can we get the lift kit Suspension kit, good for venturing down off-road, provides great ground clearance at the expense of suspended, suspension travel and stiffness. Three grand. It's not cheap. But I am thinking we might sell some of our base game trucks, because we've got our DLC trucks, which are just sort of better versions. So we might sell them for some cash money. I want to go with that. And then we can hopefully go with... We can't get the mud tires yet. I was going to say, if we could get some mud tires, explore. So they're out there for us to find. So, best for mud. Oh, we'll have to go with the off-roads, I think. Uh, winch, stock winch. Oh, we've already got an extended winch on here. Have we already taken this out? Diff lock, snorkel. I think a snorkel over no snorkel is better. That was down in some mud and some water, weren't it, that truck? If I remember rightly. And it also looked exactly the same as ours. So shall we paint ours up just so we look a bit different? I think that's the uh, the bonus paint on it. That, is, that might not stay like that, but that's what we've got so far. So inventory. Just in case. And I think that's all we'll need in there. So that is truck number one. Truck number two will be uh, our other... See, this is the one... I think we can sell this. I don't think we need two of these. Call me crazy, but I don't think we do. We're going to take our Tuz. Again, we've got, we've got two Tuz. This one has a larger fuel capacity. Just by 20 litres. So I don't, I don't think we need it. Uh, we're going to take the Tuz though. And we'll so. Now, how much of this do we recoup? That's what I'm not certain on. When I keep purchasing this and putting it in there, how much do we recoup? Not 100%. We'll see. Probably not as much as I'm about to put out there. So, I'm also going to put some extra fuel because I'm not sure how good I'm going to be at getting this truck out of the mud. We might burn a lot of fuel. Well, that's going to be it, I think. Don't think we need anything else. 
We've, uh, the roof is stacked anyway, so we're good. So let us deploy. And we want... Yeah, we want everything going there because the truck is down here. So let's go. Let's get on this exhibition. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just... There we go. Early morning. That's what we want. And we are in the Tuz. So, I think... I don't know of another way of changing trucks. If anyone knows how else there is to change trucks, like when we're nearby, let me know. Now, I'm, I'm not going to spend any money trying to uh, build anything here yet, unless we completely run out of fuel, then we'll have to spend some money there. It's Ten grand, and that's also that's why I'm thinking maybe go and uh, sell our duplicate trucks. I don't know if we find trucks out here, or whether... It's all just like recovery trucks, and then everything else we either unlock as we go, or just have to purchase. Be interesting to see. down there and have a little look. Might have to get the drone out to really assess the situation. Because we don't know the terrain. Do we? Or I don't know the terrain. You guys might. You guys might know the terrain. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far as well. I'm having a lot of fun with this. It's been a struggle to get out. It's that old adage of having to record, edit, upload, and wait before I can get things out. So, uh, thanks to anyone and everyone who has uh, shown some support on the series as well. Greatly appreciated. So, we're going to. Okay, use the winch to pull out the truck from the swamp after the winch is secured. Turn on the engine, the tow truck. Okay. Let's sort of get ourselves in position. I'm thinking... That might be... See, that looks like a... A way out, but... Up there... When we came down before, we came past... Up that way, and... We sort of lumped down. It's going to be tough to pull a truck up. I think. Let's turn my engine off. I think if I get my... Drone out. Give him a little look. Love it. I love that there's a drone. Yeah, to try and pull that truck through there, up there, and then up that slope is going to be a nightmare. Whereas if we can, I don't know, do you think we can pull up? I don't think we'll pull it around here. That looks doable here. Bit of a slope. So if we can pull the truck out to about here, then come around the other side of it and pull it up the hill in reverse, I think that'll work. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the plan. That is my plan. On the fly, that's my plan. <laughs> can we eat? Oh, we can turn the diff on while in reverse. I wasn't sure if we could. I felt like we should have been able to. In SnowRunner, again, another SnowRunner comparison. Obviously, uh, when you go in reverse, the diff stays engaged. So. 
left stick to uh, get things moving. Yeah, if I can get that, ch get the truck maybe pretty much where I am now. If I can get that there. Then I can bring my spell ground somehow. We'll go up on this rock on the right. Yeah, I'd love to have these come out maybe a little bit, a little bit quicker, a little bit closer together. But at the point of recording this one, episode part one the actual gameplay, not the tutorial, the tutorial's already up. But part one has been uploaded for so about four hours, maybe longer. Part two has been uploaded for three hours and they're both sitting at about 85% so they're going to be ready to go out like right on top of each other. So I'll try and spread them out. And then uh, obviously I'll then get this one edited it up as soon as possible. Only working from one PC. I don't have a, a recording and editing PC and a gaming PC. I have it all on one PC. So while I'm editing and waiting for them renders, obviously there's no gameplay happening. Sure, we can get up here. Hopefully, I mean our winch is pretty long, so we should be able to pull ourselves on that tree. And with our winch being quite long, we should be able to get ourselves on some nice dry terra firma. The brake on. Oh, that's not that's not the winch anymore. I will do that forever because I still have snow on it to do. Right. So if we turn the engine back on, and pull the truck, hopefully, it come to us. Look at that. Okay, now it needs some muscle. Okay, that's gone. That's gone better than I expected. That has gone much better than I expected. So, providing we can get this back, we can go off and do a little exploring, I think, for this one. So, there is a lot of map. There's only that one more expedition here. I, I guess it'll open up uh, free roam because there's quite a bit of map here and there's things to collect. I need to figure out about. Like, um, what was it gold? There was like gold stuff. Gold mine, that's it. So we could maybe look into that. We can go out and get tuzz for that because it's a little bit more agile than what we have here. Uh, shall we give us some beans? There's no in-game photo mode at the minute either. Hopefully that'll come, because I do like taking a photo in SnowRunner. And in, I think, I believe MudRunner has photo mode as well, so hopefully it'll, it'll come in. It's beautiful scenery. I'm sure we can go into the settings and turn off all the HUD, and then take a screenshot, but it's not the same as being able to maybe edit it a little bit. And Move your camera around, get the angles just to how you want it. Everyone loves a lovely screenshot. Ah, 
right, just at the entrance of our our little base is where we're going. Awesome. So, we recover the truck, we did that. So we've got an extra 1500 for that. So we'll take our reward. And we shall continue. We're going to go out and um, do, some, do some bits, I think. So it's just not a, a simple A to B just doing the same thing as maybe other people. I do like to do a little bit of my own stuff and try and make things my own. And this will be our way of doing it. So, if we have a look in the map. So that's, a, that's a building module. There's the fort. That's a climb. So that's the gold. What? Uh, hit to the... Oh, we get a reward. A journey to an abandoned mine is a chance to peer into the history of the region amid the darkness of the old tunnels. Answers to the questions are answers to the questions are hidden. What riches did the land bring to the miners of the past? The reward is three thousand four hundred. Start tracking. Ah, oh, oh, wait there. We had something. I have something somewhere else. Maybe not else have we got? Okay. Okay, so there's lots to trigger and explore. Right. Let's go pop to that gold mine. Oh, we don't need to do that. Let's go have a little butcher's. It might have some riches for us. We can always do it for a bit more money, although it's like three and a half grand. So I'm, I'm guessing it's not going to pay us three and a half grand if we're going to visit that one mine. So maybe there are more mines and we have to visit them all. Saving does cause some frame rate drops. I do apologise for that. It's nothing I can do about it. It's game optimization. They are aware of it. I'm sure I saw on the uh, Steam community board thing that that was something they were looking at. I think other than that, we have had quite a fortunate start to the game. It, uh, besides the uh, six hour delay on the code being activated on Steam. Oh, should we go uh, all wheel drive? And we're digging ourselves in some mud. Sure, our truck didn't do that a little while ago, did it? Or when we came through here before, we didn't have that trouble. Although we we have churned this up a little bit. This could be fun. We haven't stopped and had like a good look, have we? We haven't even um by the way, oh yes, I've had someone comment on the well, the first video already. Lights are on the right stick if you want to turn your lights on. Yeah, because that's what I was after. Oh, in cat. Now, even on Snowrun, I haven't done, done much in cab in a while because we've been doing the hard mode adventure. And it's just high risk. See how this how this feels. Perhaps I'll uh, I'll run a separate save and I'll try and do as much as I can in cab. For me, obviously, I'll not record two of these exactly the same. Although next week, depending on when this comes out, this will come out over the weekend at some point. Next week, I'll uh, probably rotate this in with the snow runner stream that I do. 
because I have two two snow runner saves on the go there. One's being streamed and one's recorded. The streamed one is on sort of standard difficulty. We chuck in a few extra mods every now and then and do things a little bit more risky. And then obviously on hard mode, that's a little bit more sensible, a little bit more restrictive. So that's why I like to run too. And I have already seen, from, from literally within hours of the game launching, people are asking to have a mode, or at least have an option put in, so that you don't have the DLC trucks. I'm happy to have DLC trucks, and I'm happy to be able to sell my trucks for extra cash. I think people forget that the DLC trucks are there because you've paid real, real life cash for them. Like, there's, there's no point in buying the DLC if you're not going to use it, is what I'm thinking. You know, sell your old trucks. If you don't want to uh, spend the cash, don't spend the cash. Know that you always need to have 70, 80, 100 grand in the bank. Use it as like an emergency fund. I think before our next album, we'll probably sell a truck. Over the board. Ah, yes, I can see now there's a, a highlighted area. When we went down here before, because it wasn't activated, nothing happened because it wasn't highlighted. So that stage is complete. Find traces of gold. Oh, we've got a new marker. A new marker. Let's have a look on the map. So that is. Oh, okay. It's up over there. Shall we see if we can uh, get another trip in, or shall we wait? Oh, maybe we should just wait and see what comes next trip, and then save some for some open world stuff. Because there was something that came up over here, didn't it? Was that like a t temple or an ancient, ancient something? I think. So yeah, I think we've got mm, probably 50-60% of the map uncovered. It only goes so far. So, ah, there we go. Ancient Ruins. Altar. Gold mine. Yeah, I think we'll save that. So with that, we should be able to return to headquarters to complete our our mission. Uh, so for heavy, sh heavy shipping, we're going to get 3,400, and we're going to get 2,700 back, but we sp we're only going to get half of our money back for our items. So that's quite wasteful, but you need them just to be careful of what you're doing, don't you? Really? We'll, uh, we'll have to start thinking a little bit more about that, because with it not being like SnowRunner and leaving things out on the map, unless... Oh no, we've got those little outposts. Perhaps I should stock the outposts up out on the map so then it's already in there and then when we come out we can just sort of fill up off them possibly we'll look into that you guys let me know how what you're doing and how you're strategizing uh, i'm heading back to the headquarters and with that that is another expedition on little colorado complete we've only got one more to go so uh, i'll try and get that one done as soon as possible get this out and uh, you guys can let me know what you're thinking and how you're finding it hopefully you've enjoyed this one uh, the truck rescue was pretty good. I'm impressed with how, how, how well I did that. Let me know how your truck rescues are going. And um, yeah, big fat thumbs up down below. The usual drill. Likes, comments. Let me know what you're thinking. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Find out when new videos are going live by turning on the bell notification. And hopefully I will see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.